There he was. Last night in Phoenix, Donald Trump going after Democrats, but also explaining in more detail than he has before his immigration agenda, including a 10-point plan. So how did he do? Will it work with voters? And do his ideas make sense? We've got a great political panel this morning on this question. U.S. Hispanic Chamber of Commerce President and Clinton surrogate Javier Palomares, along with Libre Initiative spokeswoman Rachel Campos Duffy and Boris Epstein, who is a senior advisor to the Trump campaign. Javier, to you first. I thought he made a really interesting point last night about legal immigration and about our right to choose who comes here. Here's part of what Trump said. It's our right as a sovereign nation to choose immigrants that we think are the likeliest to thrive and flourish and love us. So you're a business guy. You wouldn't hire the first hundred people who showed up for the job interview. Absolutely, you reserve absolutely. the right to choose the ones you want. Agree. Why shouldn't our country have that same right. That's not how we do it now. Right. You know, I don't think anybody's advocating to hire just whoever shows up here. The the vast majority of immigrants that are here came here to look for work. Right. The vast majority of them, in fact, are working and helping this nation move forward. They're doing the kinds of jobs, frankly, that a lot of Americans would not do. Okay, but, but Rachel, why wouldn't our immigration policy be a little bit more thoughtful? It was designed when we had an industrial economy we no longer do. Mm -hmm. So why shouldn't we say we're going to take people who are going to help us in very specific ways, not just people who have family here or who are close sure. by physically, sure. but people who are going to help. We talked about uh, welcoming people who want to assimilate, who love America, who share our values. I think that bodes really well for Hispanic immigrants, fr frankly, um, when you compare it to uh, immigrants from other countries and you see the problems going on in Europe with trying to assimilate some of their um, migrant populations. So I don't think that this necessarily bodes poorly for Hispanic immigrants who I think come here and work hard just as Javier well, for sure. said. And I think, I think yeah. most people think that and I think Trump kind of said that last night for the first time. But why not have a skills-based immigration system? It's absolutely necessary. I and mean, this actually hits close to home for me. My family were immigrants. We came here when I was 11. My father's an applied math PhD. You better believe that if that were not the case, we would have had a harder time getting into this country than we did. And it was, you know, we were vetted for several years, went through a long process, and that did play a big role. So I do believe just like hiring for a business as a businessman, we should be looking at the backgrounds, but also the skill sets of everyone coming in. That's just common sense. Well, That's the kind of common sense Donald Trump brings no into this country. It needs to be modernized to work for, for, for our economy, and I don't think anyone's arguing and that's that. Better for but the we, immigrants. Well, no, 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 lots of people are arguing that. They're arguing well, that the main criterion ought to be do you have relatives in the United well, States. Well, but, but one of the things that I have to do, I have to listen, I like the speech. I think, you know, I'm an American before I'm a Hispanic, and I definitely think the idea of making a system that works for Americans first um, matters and is important. I think that was a great point that he brought up, and he was very unapologetic about it, and I was proud of that. One thing he did not address is that there are many, he said he wanted to put Americans first. He didn't talk specifically about the so called dreamers. They are Americans, they do live here. And we need something. He didn't really talk about. He talked about getting rid of the executive actions um, that Obama put in place that allowed their parents to stay. Uh, I think Obama. Um, I think that Trump really should have talked about it? pushing legislation <laughs> to allow them not through executive orders, right. but in the th through legal. You know, in, in the well, House, through, through the Congress. Through the, it's through one, the Congress it's one speech. You're not going to lay out every single. But I understand, but that's so a very important point. But he, he talks a lot about the wall, and he's being scoffed at by all the smart people. All the cool kids are right. unimpressed by the wall. What's the argument against protecting the country with the I don't wall? think there is an argument, they, and there should never be an argument against protecting our country. We have every right to do exactly that. The fact of the matter is, though, that the wall is one element. That's one thing. Right. This country has many, many, many challenges. Immigration reform, at least in the eyes of my constituency, of 4.1 million Hispanic-owned firms in this country that collectively contribute over $661 billion to the American economy. Right. Listen, I'm I'm proud to advocate on behalf of Hispanic businessmen and women, but we never forget the first and foremost to the point that was made earlier, we are Americans. Amen. Every job we create, every product we manufacture, every service we provide goes to benefit the American economy. Well, and you're the a Hillary surrogate. You sound very the reasonable this morning, I got to say. It sounds like she's really okay. Donald Trump. We are out of time, unfortunately. <laughs> it is great to see all of you. No, I'm, I'm serious. Sorry, that, was, that was great. No, 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 I think it's great. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Our next